let's look at how to actually make this navigation go to different pages. So right now I have my index and that's always the home page. So if we're looking in our navigation right here, the home page should always link to index.html like that. So let's make a new page for about. So I'll make a brand new HTML file. I'll call it about.html. And I'm gonna go in here, I'm going to copy all this stuff and paste it into the about page. And now we can link up the about file. So we'll link about.html. Now, because we've copied and pasted, we actually have to do that in two locations. So I updated the about uh, the navigation on the about page, but not on index. So I have to go back to index here and change this to about.html also. So now we should be able to link to about, and you can see the navigation or the title changed up here. Let's just change the title of the website so it's very obvious. Oh, I did that on the wrong one. Let's do it on about. All right, so we're on the about page and then we can go back to the home page like this and we can click between them. So let's do it one more time. Um, I want to now do it for the contact page. So we'll make contact.html like that. I'll paste this in, change this to contact. So now I need to make sure to remember to update my navigation in three places here, all three of the HTML files that I've created. And now we should be able to link between them. So we can go to contact, about, home, like this. So we can link to all the pages. Now when we're doing uh, multiple pages, it's extremely important that the title is different for every page. So on the home page, it makes sense for it to be like website name, like that. And then on the about page, uh, we would want to write about. So it would be like about website name. So we always want to keep the website name up there. And the same thing for contact, like this. I'll change this to contact website name. So the title should be unique for every webs or every file that you create in your, or every HTML file that you create in your website. Now, if we look at the URL here, you can see that it says contact.html, or if I go to about, it says about.html, or if I go to home, it just says index. Now, what if I wanted to have a file inside of a product? So maybe I have a bunch of different products. So let's make a new folder here inside of my folder which I don't have open. All right, here's my folder. And I'm going to make a new folder called products. So I want there to be like a default page in there that has multiple products on it. So inside my code, I'm going to make a brand new HTML file and I'm going to put it into the products. Now, since this is the main file inside of a folder, I'm actually going to name it index.html like that. I'm going to paste all my stuff in here that includes my navigation and change the title here to products. All right, so we've got this created and it is actually a index.html inside of inside of our products folder. So we have a new index and the index file is always the default file inside of a folder. So index is your home page because that's the default website file, the default web page for your whole website. But if you create a new folder, the default file can also be named index. So if we go to our home page here, let's change the location the the link here to say products slash index.html. So this is on the home page now. So let's go to our home page right here. And now if I click products, you can see we go into that folder called products and we go to the index file. Now you can see we do have a little bit of a problem here. But one thing I want to show you before we fix those problems is that since index is always the default, we could actually get rid of it and just put a slash here. And the browser and the server are smart enough to figure that out. So now if I click products, you can see it goes to the products page and we just don't have the index.html in here, but it still works. Now, some things are not working anymore. And what's happening, if we look at this, is our index .html for our products is inside of a folder. If we look in our finder here, it's inside of a folder. 
the CSS isn't loading though. And if we look at this here, this says, go in the folder that you're currently in and look for a file called CSS. So we do not have a folder in here called CSS. What we need to do is actually go out of here. So we can do that with dot dot slash. That means go out of the current folder that you're in. So we're going out of the current folder that we're in. There we will find the CSS file or the CSS folder, and then we can connect it together. So we'll go back here and refresh. So now it's working, but we have the same problem. If we click on home, it doesn't go anywhere. If we click on about, we get a 404. If we click on contact, well, that doesn't go anywhere either. So we need to update all of these to be dot dot slash. This one will be just um, index.html because it's inside of the current folder. This one will be dot dot slash, and this one will be dot dot slash contact. So this works because we are currently in the products folder. So that means we have to go out of the products folder in order to find contact. Same thing for about and same thing for the primary index, which is the home page. But once, as soon as we're in the products folder, if we want to get to the products page, we just refer to it using index. So that will get us to the products page when we're already in the products folder. So let's refresh this, and now we should be able to go to all the different pages on our website. But products is still um, in a folder. But the only thing that we're missing is that because we copied and pasted this, we have to update our navigation in the other pages, which are about and contact. All right, so now we should be able to click to all the pages from all the other pages. So let's take this a step further and in our products page here, let's make another sort of navigation item or series of navigation. So let's create this and I'll just do a UL, which will represent links to the different products that we support that we have on our website. So I've got two products on my website that I want to link to. Here they are here. And I actually am going to make files for them. So inside of the products folder, I'm going to make a file named product1.html. And then I'm going to do the same thing again and make one called product2.html. Product2.html, like that. So let's copy the HTML from here. So we have a template. I'm going to paste it in these two, like that. Let's just change the content inside of main here to be more appropriate for these ones. So let's just put an h2 product1, like that. And I'll go to my product2 file here and do the same thing. So now on our products page right here, I want to link these up. So since we're already in the products folder here, these don't need any dot dot slashes because they're in the same folder. So we could just write product.html or product1 is what I mean. And this one would be product2.html. So let's go to the browser and check this out. So if I click on product1, I go to the product1 page here, but I still have access to all of my other navigation. And I can go back to products and click on, click on product2, and here is my product2 navigation. So we've got complex navigation here using folders, subfolders, and, and different files inside those. So dot dot slash, remember, allows us to go out of the current folder to find something else in another location on our